Uh, before we go, Matt, of course, it's very similar to uh, the coaches poll being released uh, one week ago that the AP poll was released yeah. today and US, USC is at number six. Same, same as the uh, coaches poll and, you know, the top five in front of USC was the same. Obviously, you had Alabama and Ohio State. Uh, flip-flopping at three and four was different in the coaches poll versus the AP poll, but you still have, you know, three SEC teams and Michigan, Ohio state in front of USC. And of course the reminder there is like, it's very unlikely that three SEC teams are going to be in the top five. And it's unlikely that Michigan, Ohio state are both going to make the playoff together uh, as a combo two straight years. Like you just really have to thread the needle. Every, all the other bounces have to go your way. Uh, for that to happen. So, you know, just w just the things being what they are. If USC goes 12 and 1, Trojans should make the playoff. I, I I think there's very little doubt about that because, you know, what are the odds that three SEC teams will get in or that Michigan and Ohio State will both get in for a second straight year? Possible? Sure, but not likely. Uh, if USC goes 12 and 1, this number 6 pole position should really solidify the Trojans, you know, barring you know, something remarkable like TCU, you know, uh, coming off the radar and uh, grabbing a playoff spot. So that that's the simple thing about the preseason polls. Like I don't invest much of any energy in them, but if, like if there's a story to take away, it's that if USC goes 12 and one, uh, it, sh it should be good to go for the playoffs. We are working on two consecutive college football playoff decisions by the committee that were pretty cut and dry, not a lot of controversy. It was pretty easy in 2021 and 22. It may work out that way as well this year. However, I see a lot of log jams. I see a lot of controversy. I see a lot of competing teams for playoff spots with similar resumes and records. So it could be really interesting uh, between those various conferences and uh, those opportunities there. Also keep in mind, folks, that 13 of the 25 in the top 25 preseason AP last year did not finish ranked. 13 of 25 did not finish ranked. Three of the top 10, I've gone back three consecutive years, so who knows before that, but the last three preseason top 10s Three of the top 10 did not finish ranked at all. Last year it was Texas A&M, Oklahoma, and Baylor, I believe, were the three teams in the top 10 that didn't finish ranked at all. And those three top 10 preseason top 10 teams combined to go 17 and 21. So don't necessarily think that this is just we, we have it all figured out and this is the way it's going to be this season. There will be some surprises. It's what we love about the sport. 